What's up guys? I have been waiting every day searching the junkyard for these EX wheels for the Accord. It's a 1992. So 92 and 93 have the same uh, window cutouts, which is gonna be less. If you look at a 9091, it has more window cutouts. So I've been waiting specifically for these and I'm just so happy I got them. I was looking for other wheels in the same bolt pattern nothing popped up and i just wanted to keep this car as original as possible so i'm gonna throw these things on and then we'll go over a few repairs that i seen i needed to do when i was working on the time belt Of course, right after I torque all the wheels, I remembered that I have a set of mud guards for the rear. They were an optional accessory for the EX. This one didn't have it for whatever reason. And the kit came with a replacement set of front mud guards. These are pretty tore up, so I'm just gonna change them all and we'll throw the extras in the trunk. All right, now that we got it all wrapped up, we've got four wheels and they match, uh, which to me is amazing because I hated how it looked with the other mixed matched wheels. Uh, but now there's mud guards on all four corners. Those were there already. We added these as a factory option. Um, I did have to change the radiator cap because the hose was collapsing. And that's one sign of a bad radiator cap. And I got this little guy from the junkyard when I got the wheels. So little by little, this thing is coming together. I've got a radio to put in it. Um, I need to see what's going on with this window. And uh, got to change the motor mount right here. Uh, this motor mount's busted. Uh, change the oil, change the trans fluid, maybe get a battery. And this thing is ready to go. I can't have it hanging around here anymore. It's got to go. All right, we got a new drain plug put in. The old one, the threads were looking a little suspect, but cleaned the oil pan because it was full of oil. And I don't know if you can see, but there is spider webs all over the bottom of this car and I absolutely hate spiders. So getting the oil filter out wasn't fun, uh, but I used these little wrench pliers to get it off and then uh, do a little scotch bite on that and clean that up. Then we'll uh, jump over here Get the drain bolt off the trans, try to clean it a little, uh, but it's probably just residue because every time, uh, at least every Honda I've seen, people don't really change the drain plug crush gasket and that's what happens. All right, uh, Hondas and Toyotas last forever when you take care of them. But this one has been neglected. Look at that poor thing. That is just full, full of contaminants. Um, not the end of the world. I've seen this before on Honda, so it's gonna be okay, but maybe another uh, transmission drain and fill on the next couple of oil changes, three to five in my opinion, and then uh, be better to have a idea of what's going on on there, depending on how many shavings are showing up on the drain plug. And here's another interesting find. Look at how big that groove is. This thing was super tight. If you didn't see how much I struggled taking it off, 
but it must have been reused a few times because of that concave groove that we're seeing right there at the bottom. Anyways, we'll get a new crush washer on and continue moving forward. And with that being all wrapped up, we are done with this project. Needs a little more love, but that is for my friend to pick up where I left off and continue moving forward. Either way, we've made huge, huge progress on this car since it got dropped off. Well, that's it for this car. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It makes a big difference on the channel. I'll be posting more videos on the FJ40. If you haven't seen them already, check it out. And I still have to finish up the LT250R restoration. And uh, we'll put both of the playlists right here.